Hello truckers and welcome back to SnowRunner. We are in the Royal BM, still on the Tymir Russian map in Drowned Lands. And whoops, on the map you can see we're down here trying to go to, we're gonna to try to do this aquatic uh quest, whatever it might be. I mean I'm supposing we gotta get a vehicle out of the swamp and probably bring it somewhere. So I'm not quite sure what's gonna evolve, uh, but the marker is on where we need to go. So let's fire up this puppy here. I'm in low plus right now. All wheel drive is on. Uh, let's hopefully we can get out there. No problem. I kind of got lucky driving out here just a little while ago on that dirt road right there. I rolled her over, but not enough to where it shut off the engine. I was able to use the winch on a tree and get the truck upright. And uh, if I got if I got to go back down that road again, I know there's a big hole there that <laughs> came out of nowhere. But then again, I was driving here at dusk, so. I didn't quite see where I had to go. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the truck we're going to be using or not, but we'll see here shortly. Looks like kind of like a small car that's here. I don't know how deep this water is either, but the Royal BM intake is up pretty darn high. And I'm probably I'm going through like the deepest part. Looks like I probably should have gone over where that little car is. I have no idea what that is. I always tend to seem to find the deepest spots of the swamp when I'm going somewhere. Did that last episode in the radioactive material. Come on. Let's get up there and accept this quest and see what we got to do here. I want to I, I want to get actually out of the water here. If I can, please. Okay, this is pretty soft ground that we're on here. Uh, nope, it's broken and won't budge. I think I would have more chance pulling the mythical sword from the mythical stone. Uh, but first we need to repair this vehicle. Could you help us? Of course I need to repair it. Uh, and I don't have anything with me to repair it, but we'll accept it. And we'll start tracking that quest right there. Uh, restore the, uh, Dawn 71. So I need fuel and we need, uh, some repairs. About 300... 310 repairs, give or take. Uh, let me go ahead and turn off the Royal BM. Where is my is my uh, service trailer, Don? The Royal BM. I do not have. No, I don't have it on this map. Apparently, um, what do I have on this map, or what do I have in storage? Let's go to the garage. Let's enter the garage and let's see what we got here in storage. Uh, apparently nothing. Uh, apparently nothing. All right, let me go get a repair slash, uh, fuel vehicle that we have. I'm trying to think what I might want to use. And, uh, I'll bring it right back and we'll drive on over, repair it, and see what we have to do with the vehicle afterwards. All right, I think I found the vehicle we are going to use. I found the White Western Star on another map, and I'm like, I do like that truck. Let's go ahead and use that. Uh, so I got to do deploy. I think what I need to do is just go around to all of my maps and just retain all of my vehicles. That way they're in truck storage. And I have to go searching on a map everywhere for it all the time. Uh, we're going to go to customization here. I'm going to go right down to frame add-ons. And what we want here is a maintenance add-on. So uh, that's just that's not enough repair parts. It's plenty of fuel. Um, where is there just a repair... Medium log, uh, flatbed, carrier, heavy crane. Isn't there one that just does a uh, van body add-on? What does that do? Repair parts 800. What I think I could do, uh, and I'll give us some repair parts. It doesn't need that much fuel. I think I could take fuel out of an existing vehicle. You don't have to carry a fuel container with you. Uh, I think that's what we can do. Let's go ahead and purchase that for a couple thousand dollars. There we go. Uh, let's ex no, let's not escape out of that. Uh, just double check on the wheels. Uh, tires. What do we got on here for tires currently? Uh, we got the 47 inch uh, UOD number twos currently. That's what's on there. And in mud, that is good. So let's go ahead and escape out of this. And then let's go ahead and make sure we're all set. We should be all set. I'll leave the garage. All right. Uh, let's see, let's put that there. Automatic, don't need any four-wheel drive in there like that. 
So, we've got to take that wonderful road all the way on back on down there. So, it's 42 fuel, which I believe, once I get this over there, I can just go ahead and take it out of either truck. I am a little bit worried, because this vehicle is probably going to be a little bit more top-heavy than the Royal BM was. When I go down this road, this road is not the greatest. I mean, it's not, I mean, as for the terrain, it's not that bad. Uh, but the, the slope on it in some areas can be kind of bad. Let's throw all-wheel drive on here. And I think we'll put it in the high gear. It's slow and steady, we'll win the race. I probably should have checked what winch was on here. Oh, wow, that does make it really, really top-heavy. I'm bouncing around everywhere. I'm going to roll this over. I almost know that I am because uh, I'm going to drive carelessly all the way on down where we got to go. Uh, where did I go from here? I don't remember here. Probably should go ahead and mark my map. Yep, got to go down this road. Then right down to here. It's easy enough. I say it's easy enough, but uh, when you see this road, you'll probably understand later on. Oh, yeah. This thing is uh, top-heavy and wants to roll over rather easily. So there are two vehicles that I would like to try to rescue today, but we'll see how long it takes us as we go along here. I already spent enough time trying to figure out what vehicle I wanted to use and what I could use and what would work. Yeah, this is where I got to turn here. You can see already the angle that we're going at. And this is rather a top-heavy vehicle. Remember these trees being here like this. But then again, this is the road I want to be on. No, it is not. But it's the one I'm on now. <laughs> so I'm not going to. Actually, I can. I can turn. I can turn somewhere. I think and get on down there. A little bit through the river and the woods. Down to grandmother's house we go. It's one of these roads that are kind of deceiving. Doesn't look that bad. What always gets me in SnowRunner is... It's just a little bit hard to read the terrain once in a while. When we start to get bouncing, that's when things can go... Uh, from bad to worse, faster than you can than you can click a button. Yeah, remember that little bit of a ditch right there. Got a slope here, the right side elevation is a lot higher than the left side so if we're going to roll over it's going to be right onto the driver's side like a lot of people said when I when I started doing Snowrunner again about a month ago or so a lot of people said oh yeah you got me back in the Snowrunner I love the game but it can quickly aggravate you really really quick it's like yep it sure can get within 10 meters of your destination like hey we're just about there and all of a sudden you roll over and it's like well I don't have another vehicle here so I either recall this one and take another 20 minutes to get out here or bring another vehicle out there next thing you know you got five vehicles in one spot because you roll them all over in the same spot over and over again all right, for 
some reason this road didn't seem as bad coming out with you guys as it did when I came out but then again I came out like at 10 o'clock at night with the headlights on so the terrain was kind of bad uh, this is why I rolled over the Royal BM so let's not do that and I'm gonna go over here because I went in the road and it was that little ditch right there on the right hand side where that mud hole is I went for a quick ride and you know what I'm gonna do because I know I might do it again here when I pull myself out before I hook myself to that tree just in case. We release it. Alrighty. Now, I went that way with the Royal BM. Let's go on this side with the White Western Star. See if the water is as deep here as it was over there. No, I don't want that tree. Alright, I guess I don't want the winch at all right now. We're doing... Okay, ish. That's what I want. I want that tree right there. So I guess no matter which way you come into here, the swamp is just going to chew you on up. Overall, it's not that bad. Probably should throw in dip lock. Might help out. This vehicle has dip lock. The Royal BM does not. All right, let me go ahead and turn off the engine so I'm not wasting fuel. Let's come into here and repair. Uh, the target is going to be that vehicle there. And we want to repair all. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and escape that. And now let's come into here and I should be able to refuel and... The source is going to be, oh, let me get off that. There we go. And then, okay, so we're going to take fuel from the White Western Star over to there. And just hold F to do it all completely, I think. Oh, so I don't have to tow it anywhere. Okay. Uh, easy peasy, nice and easy. And now the next one, we'll take the Royal BM. We're going to leave the White Western Star here. And let's see, how do I want to approach this? I guess uh, I'll just keep going to the swamp to get to here. And then we'll come on down to here, over to here. I guess we'll kind of drive. I guess we'll just go to here for now and see what that does. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's go ahead and change trucks. All right, let's go ahead and put it into low. All-wheel drive is on. Since we're already in the middle, I guess it doesn't matter which way I go. At least I think it doesn't. Yeah, she's getting through rather well. Yeah, after searching for vehicles again, and I remember doing it last week in last week's episode, I just need to go around all my maps and just grab all my vehicles, retain them all. Because I got vehicles everywhere. A little muddy. Let's go ahead and see if I can help ourselves a little bit with a winch. At least if I roll myself over, the White Western Star is not too far from here. Alright, I don't know if I need all-wheel drive or not, so we'll turn that off and see how we get along here. 
put her into high gear. Yeah, all wheel drive, might as well just keep it on. So that last one there didn't have to tow that one anywhere. That's, I guess it's all right. Because usually what I would do is, I when I first started towing vehicles or I need a repair or whatever, I'd actually bring them all the way back to the shop and just repair it. Bouncy, bouncy. Just keep on driving through. I'm not sure how we're going to approach this vehicle down there, but hopefully we can assess the situation a little bit better once we get there. Looks like it's down a cliff somewhere. Let's see if we can kind of have a view of what we're doing. All right, so on the map, it kind of shows it has a steep cliff area, but doesn't look that bad actually down here. So my marker is there. Let me get rid of that marker there and just mark actually where that actually is. road here somewhere. Oof. And roll over completely. Yep, that's fine. As long as you land on all four wheels, I'll be happy. But it's not going to, is it? that hurt a little bit keep going um, as planned all right but let's see if I can get myself out of this situation here if you want to look at the, the bright way it didn't damage it as much as I thought it was going to I'm gonna roll this over again just because it's really really deep here got to get myself out of this ravine Thing is, though, there are no trees or anything like that down here to help myself out. Yep, I'm gonna roll it over it again. Now I knew that wasn't gonna go as well because once you see the ravine here, yeah. Uh, okay, so take two maybe. Yeah, probably take two. Probably recall this. Uh, let's see here. What would be the best way for me to come on down? All right, I think I'm going to recall it to the garage. Just drive it on down the main road and then take this dirt road here. And then come through that way would be my best bet. And then uh, try to figure out how I want to get to where we need to get to. Might be easier to see on the other side, but I'm going to recall this. That way it's fully repaired, fully fueled. I'll meet you back down here. Take me about 10, 15 minutes or so, I think. Not too far away from our destination, so maybe some of you are out there saying, why not just go grab the White Western Star and uh, turn over the Royal BM and get it out of there. Uh, this probably got the situation, I think I would just ended up with two vehicles rolled over, and then, yeah, then I'll have to drive the, both of them back down there, maybe. So, it's just easier to go ahead and grab the Royal BM, recover it, and repair it as well as I could, but then, of course, on the way down here, some suspension damage on the main road, because why not? I think I'm going this way. And I did advance time back to 6 o'clock in the morning, so it's going to be a little foggy at first. A 
maybe from this side as well, because we're coming in from the opposite side, I'll be able to see a little bit better what the situation actually is. Yeah, don't get bouncing too much. Yeah, let me go ahead and put it in low. And when your vehicle starts get, get some, getting really bouncy, best thing is to do is just almost like stop and... Because <laughs> that's usually when I roll it over. What button is my high beams and headlights? Is that one there? That's not helping out too much. Okay. What am I coming up on? Got to go between some rocks. That looks like it could be a mud hole and a half and roll me over easily. It's one thing when you see water in a mud hole. You actually don't know how deep it is. Alright, so I gotta go over this bridge. Sure, we're on there. All right. So don't be taking a tractor trailer over that bridge. It might be a little difficult. All right. So is it down that cliff? liking this too much. I feel like this is going to require a crane maybe to get it up here. Done something like that before, but that's with packages. Too bad you can't actually get out and walk around, but I'm thinking maybe... Looks like the same vehicle. Uh... All right, so maybe... Well, let me go ahead and try backing up out of here, which is not that difficult. And sneak it on down. Down through here, maybe. Just don't like the area... Uh, let's see, there's a little bit of a ravine here. Let me try to stay on top of it. This fog in the morning is not helping out too much either. But coming down here, there just isn't many trees to help us out if uh, things go bad, which I'm assuming they're going to. I'm gonna actually going to tie ourselves to that tree right there. We don't roll over. All right, so we are getting closer. Just trying to take it slow here. But coming down here, like I said, there's nothing to tie to. So is this going to be another repair job, or is this going to be tow me out of here job? Brakes, 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 brakes. All right, uh, what do we have here? What people lose around here? What's that? Uh, their minds. Yeah, they lost their minds. Uh, but there's a car at the bottom of the wire that needs to be repaired and refueled. Please help. Uh, so, same thing, huh? Start tracking. Oh, and it needs four tires. 
Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure the Western Star has tires on it. Does it have tires on it? It has six tires on it. Uh, how much repair does it need? 390? I got 488 left. Well, White Western Star, hello, how are you doing? Uh, Fuel-wise, though, as long as I get there, uh, that's all that matters. Uh, but the question is, how do I want to get there? Because I went this way and I rolled it over. I mean, I could go back out here. Well, you know what? I'm going to try it again. And see if I can get through here. <laughs> Maybe try to do a little bit smarter this time. Uh, yeah, smarter. Yep, we'll see if that happens. Uh, let's put it in... Well, plus, let's put diff lock on. And not go anywhere. Alrighty. Uh, can I attach to something? I can. Maybe once we get going. I can see where the Royal BM went out, so we'll go the same way. White Western Star is just not going through as easy as the Royal BM did. No, I'm looking forward. There's nothing forward to attach to. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> There's no trees close up front. Uh, what about the rear? Nothing in front of us. That little bush. Let's see if that little bush can help us out. Apparently not. Probably the service module is holding us down enough, weighing us down, I should say. But I would like to... Oh, got something up front. As long as we can get out of the deep stuff and get on the road, I think we'll be okay. Every time I say I think I'll be okay, that's when it all goes horribly wrong. Oh, this thing is it's not going through diff lock. How about if I go low, low? Okay, that seems to be a little bit better. Of course, the rain's not helping out the situation. And, oh, that wench is just not far enough to get... Sometimes the controls of this game just drive me nuts. Sometimes I, I gotta click on things three or four times for it to actually do what it's supposed to do. to that tree up there. That looks sturdy enough. Oh, 
Oh, come on, White Western Star. Not sure I'm, I don't know what you're really stuck on here. Don't like the angle we're going at here too much. And I can't seem to get out of this predicament that I'm in all of a sudden. Alright, let's see if I can uh, tie the rear to something. Don't roll over. Let me turn diff lock off. All right, we're out of the swamp. Question is now, can I get to that vehicle and repair it? And have some fuel left over as well. matter when I get to that spot where I rolled over the Royal BM I'm pretty sure this one will roll over as well just because we're more top heavy for sure so maybe this time see if I can winch myself to something and get around that corner problem I have recording episodes of SnowRunner, trying to make longer episodes, it's just one of those things like uh, when I roll over or whatever, this takes longer to record an episode. I mean, if everything goes right, the episodes probably can be a little bit longer, but when things go wrong, i got to repeat myself over and over again, instead of showing you guys me driving down roads and not doing much of anything. Yeah, already I'm not liking the looks of this at all. The only tree we got. All right, let's see if I can. That uh, winch is a strong one. Yep, it's turning me around this way though. Alright, can I put the parking brake on? Because I gotta get the back end, not the front end. And the front end apparently won't reach, but the middle, I think, did. Alright, now what I gotta do is square myself, get myself turned around here. Now, hopefully, tie myself to that tree.
Well, I gotta go, I gotta say goodbye to my uh, my crutch. There's not much I can do. If it starts going, I don't have nothing to tie to. Alright, so I'm wondering... Where we gotta go. I can see my Royal BM right there, so I'm hoping it's not too bad. And hopefully I don't hit a rock that's going to make me bounce too much. Nope, 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 don't roll. Follow it downhill. There we go. I just don't like all these big rocks around here. Trying to pick out a better path. The good thing about it is, get it down here, repair it, and I can just recall everything. Well, I'm not liking this too much either. But if I at least roll over here, at least I got the Royal BM here that can maybe get myself straightened back out. And I think we might be close enough. Let's go ahead and park this right here. Turn off the engine. You know what might be good right here is a little bit of a screenshot. Actually, let me get that uh, marker off the map. One less thing to have. Okay, so the question is, am I in range to go ahead and repair what we need to repair? Uh, okay, so the van body, let's go ahead and repair all, right? I can do that. All right, and wheels. Oh, okay, I'm like, what have I got four or four? I only need to, I thought I had four tires to change. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong... Yeah, I'm looking at the wrong stats. I got two of six up here. Yep, I can't read. Pardon me. Uh, okay, now let's go ahead and refuel it. Let's see. Source? No. Target? No. All right, change that. And... Yes. Let's go ahead and refuel it. Another job. I don't want to say well done, but it's done. It is definitely, definitely done. Uh, let's see here. Do I have anything else I can do kind of, I don't want to say quickly here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, my secure, <laughs> secure containers are still sitting there from last week, but I don't think I have anything on this map to go ahead and do currently. Uh, I think everything on this map is done that I can see of. I don't see any pending quest other than material. Left the garage here in Drowned Lands in this beautiful Scout vehicle. Let's go ahead and fuel up our Tuz 420. Uh, I picked this vehicle here because, well, it uh, has the most fuel capacity. Uh, but we're doing a contract pathfinder, and we got to go over to the next map or another map. And actually, I'm going to unlock a map I have not been on yet, I do believe. But we're zipping across. Yeah, all my other scout vehicles, uh, I think the Marshall only holds 40 liters of fuel. Um, oh, what's the other scout vehicle that I have? I can't remember the name of it. Uh, yeah, I don't remember, but it only has like 100 liter capacity of fuel, something like that. This has 300 liters, so I thought this would be a good vehicle to use. And plus, uh, it seems to be most reliable, at least for me anyways. 
we're getting ready to switch maps here and then uh, we're going to try to find a road to the map I have not been on yet and when we switch maps I'll show you more of what we're doing because so I got to get myself a path to where we need to go on the other map anyways and plus if anything goes wrong I got more fuel and repair parts on top of this so I think 300 liters should definitely get us there This brings us to the quarry, which I have not been on in a long time. All right, we'll go ahead and skip the intro if we, we can. Uh, so we're over here. So this is where we got to go. We got to go to the gateway to the rift. Uh, this is the contract for uh, Vor Voronno. Something like that. Uh, it's called Pathfinder. And yeah, we need to get to the road up here. Gateway to the Rift is where we need to go. Uh, so we're here. I don't really don't need any fuel. So I think we're kind of good to go. But if I'm going by there, maybe I will. Uh, let's see. Which way is going to be... You know, I think we're going to bypass. I thought about going up around here. But you know what? I think it would just be easier to stay on the main road. And then cut up through here to here. And once we get to here, I don't know. Don't know. So I mean, yeah, we're going right past the fuel station, but we just we just topped off with some fuel. Although I, I know I always say when you go past the fuel station, it's usually wise to stop in and top off. I think we got plenty. Yep, I do remember parts of this map. As I get back on maps I've been on, it's one of those things, like when I see it, it's like I remember it, but as I'm driving up to the other, like the marker I have, I don't really remember what it looks like until I see it. I remember we cleared out the roads here. That's usually what I do when I get on a new map, is the first thing I do is I try to make all the main roads passable. Building bridges, clearing out debris, whatever we have to do. Reach the northern road. So I don't know if I just gotta find, you know, get to the next map. Is that what we're gonna do? Or when I get to that map, am I gonna have to get somewhere? Uh, okay. Looks like we're getting to the evening hours. Looks like it start, the, the sun's starting to set on me a little bit. So I'll tell you what we'll do from here. We'll go ahead and just go 6 a.m. There might be a task over there that we need to get to at some point. Turn the lights on. We'll help out maybe a little bit. Checking some things out here. I'm trying to figure out what that is over there. Is that going to be an upgrade? Maybe that's over there. It's an upgrade. I may just want to head on over. Whatever it is, it's not showing it. Well, you know me. I got to go over and investigate. I think that's a symbol for the upgr an upgrade. Upgrade location discovered. Let's get the upgrade. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, so it's an engine for which vehicles? Oh, the Marshall and the Tuz. So it's a scout engine, basically. All right. Thank you very much. So I can get an upgraded engine for this vehicle? I'm glad I came over and investigated it. All right, let's go ahead and back out of here smartly. trying to see the path I might be wanting to take here and I'm going to see if I can scoot up through here I'm not sure if this is where they want me to go Ooh, maybe not this is where I find out if I went another way I mean I think I can get up through here if I can just get up around that rock right there Okay, very careful. Hey, Ma, look what I found. I think that's the way we had to go. My guess is we got to go to the map this way. Once we get on this map, we'll probably have to unlock a, a bridge area back to the map that we were on or to other bridges. Uh, so we're not where we need to go yet. Yeah, so I have not been on this map at all. Uh, where am I supposed to be going here? Well, apparently up here. So, uh, all I can say is we're going to go down here, I guess, and then maybe try to get over to that tower there. Uh, wait, did I see? Was there a garage on this map? Or we don't know. No, don't know because probably we don't have discovered everything by the watchtowers. So, yep, obviously my first time on this map here. There's not, there wasn't a garage on the map we just left. The quarry doesn't have a garage. So I'm hoping this map does. The reason being, if something were to happen uh, when we work on this map in the future, if I got to recall something, I got to go way back to the drowned lands here. Part of me is thinking it's only right there. I'm not really seeing too much of an easy way to get there. Okay, what did I just hit there? Made me bounce over a boulder. Maybe let's go to the tower the smart way. And of course, if we see anything along the way, like we did just uh, before we left the other map, we'll pull in and give it a good look. I thought that was a row, but that's actually just a uh, old riverbed. So hoping this will show us a good portion of the map and maybe where the roads actually go. All right, uh, you know we'll watch. We'll launch the observation because we haven't been here before. At least I haven't. Looks like a big tanker down at a building somewhere. Alright, now... 
Well, there is a quest right here, so we'll probably go ahead and have a look at that. Uh, lost and found. Where is where, where where am I actually supposed to be going here? Way up there. Okay. Wow, the roads here look wonderful. Uh, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Uh, let's see here. Fuel station. Yeah, I'm not getting through here, I don't think. That looks like the vehicle that we're in, but our vehicle is up here, so maybe a free Tuz. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if I can cut through there or not. And then to there, and then to there. All right. Uh... Nope, let me go on the other side of that trailer. I'm up here, might as well grab this quest. I'll accept it, but we're not going to start tracking it. Here, I thought this would be a quick little end to the video. Like, ah, oh, we just got to go scout something. Easy enough. I should know by now, nothing in SnowRunner comes as easy as you think it's going to be. But I don't think this map is as big as it may seem. Trying to figure out, do I want to go that way or not? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I want to shoot through these woods here if I can. It's only 40 meters to the other side. And there is the road that we're looking for. And looks like we're going to drive right past that other... Is that a Tuz? I mean, yeah, it looks like a Tuz. Just have a look around here. Got some uh, nice little cliffs here or there that you can easily get stuck into. Yeah, we'll grab and grab these tasks here. So we know there's a fuel station here, which is decent enough, but... Not really sure I know what we're going up to. Uh, where did I put my marker after that? Apparently I didn't. Alright, I think we'll go this way and then... I'm not sure if that's passable there though. Nope, not going to push that tree over. All right. So, already I'm thinking next episode we'll probably be roaming around this map a little bit. Although, with, if there is no garage here, 
getting vehicles here is going to be just a little bit time taking. Where is that watchtower? Uh, it's up there. All right, so for now, though, I need just to continue on where I'm going here. And I think next episode we'll roam around, get the watchtowers, discover more of this map. But I want to finish up this quest. Hopefully. I don't know if it's going to unlock a new tunnel back to... Ground lands or something like that. Well, if there is no garage on this map, what I'll probably do is get uh, like a service vehicle or a fuel tanker or something like that. At least get it on this map, and that way we'll have way to fuel up. Uh, let's go this way, this way, and to there for now, I guess. vehicle does rather well in most terrain. This looks like it could be a little... Okay. See? Not a problem. I know. Every time I say not a problem, I cause one. not looking at the map anymore. I'm just following the marker that's already on the map. And I think we're just about there. And here we are. 80 XP and 1300 bucks. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, have we found, or it looks like possibly any garage anywhere yet? Uh, even though we only got one watchtower unlocked. Unless there is a garage over here somewhere. Or possibly over here, we won't know. Uh, but yeah, it looks like next episode, uh, we'll have to get the watchtowers. Yeah, I probably should went and grab that one. But uh, yeah, I know, maybe start with that one and see what that discovers. And maybe go get this one. And then maybe drive back down around, go past the fuel station, put some fuel in this thing, and uh, go get that watchtower there. And see what it has. To, this map has to offer. Um, I'm kind of hoping there is a garage, though, but, you know, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. But this Tuz is a wonderful scout vehicle for sure. Because it holds the most uh, fuel currently. There might be more that hold more than that, but this is the one I currently have unlocked. And I do love it. Uh, it doesn't seem to get stuck in many occasions at all but anyways that's gonna do it for today guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode i do appreciate you watching as always i'll catch you again right here in snow runner but until then have a good one forgot my horn <laughs>